Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So obviously I haven't posted a video in a little bit of time. Um, don't worry, I'm working on some. I just got a little bit behind um, with like some other life updates. I'm gonna do an update video in the next the next video. Um, I'm gonna do an update video. Um, that's the plan, but you know, plans can change, but that's what I'm hoping to do, just to expand everything, so. Anyways, so me and my mom went garage learning this past weekend while Keegan, um, he was at church camp, but I know he's already seen these. So the first thing we went to is a church like rummage bag sale. Not everything, just these two. Yeah, these just two, a couple yeah. of items. So um, the first thing at the church bag sale, their shoes were a dollar. He's already seen these because they're kind of big to hide. So, but I got these hunter boots, the socks with the actual boot. These were a dollar at the sale. Like I said, shoes were a dollar. So that was a steal. We went, this was on Friday when we went, the church was like right by our house. And then I got another pair of the Hunter boots, super cute. Um, and these were a dollar as well. So that was definitely a steal. I know like Hunter boots aren't as like much in style now, but like for a dollar, that's like a great I deal. Probably still get $50. Now I hope they sell on Poshmark um, over eBay. I mean, they're in great condition. Those are size seven. I'm not, is yeah. mom keeping those though? I'm not sure. I don't know. But, but there's one's a size seven, one's a size 10. So. Yeah, um, the other thing I got from the sale is, this is for me personally, I got these Merrill um, hiking boots because me and my boyfriend like to go hiking a lot and they fit me and I was like, my mom's like, oh, this is a good brand of hiking and these were kind of the high top ones I wanted so I was like, perfect for a dollar, that's great. Um, also at the sale, so then the next day we went, so that was all the first day, then the next day we went and it was like $5 to like fill a bag and I'll just run through that real quick. I can um, go too. I'll okay, just yeah. show these. Um, they said there was nothing, like, to resell there. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked through it yet, but they said it was all supposedly for the buy sell trade store. These are Bandolino pumps. I think my mom grabbed these. I will not even be taking these to the buy sell trade store. They're just not a sought-after brand. And the style, um, while it's classic, that toe shape, I think, is a little bit dated. There's just, like, nothing. Oh, I think they're kind of cute. I don't know. I, I sh they won't take them, so... Um, this next thing is, okay, New Tags Apartment 9, um, New Tags, it's worth a shot to take them, the dress, so in season. Okay, this is Adriana Propel, I know some people sell this brand, I don't, so I won't list this. It says Tempati, but it's a red, kind of like, sheath dress, so they might take that, because that's a decent-ish, like, consignment type brand. Okay, these are Aeropostale, Aeropostale men's, uh, straight leg jeans. Okay, these are new tags. They're size, um, 33 by 32, so that's a pretty good size, but I'm gonna take them to Plato's Closet. We'll take these and probably pay me, you know, five dollars for them. Which is how much the bag is worth, so. Yeah, this is apartment nine, just, uh, it feels actually kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie, but it's a men's, just, like, t-shirt. Plato's might take that. Um, this is a new tags, like, athletic -y men's top, which I think they should take, probably, like, a Amazon-y type brand. This is C9 Champion. I don't, I don't, I don't really have luck at Play-Dohs when I take from this brand, but it's worth a try. Just immense. They're always looking for men's stuff. Yeah, so we're just trying to fold the bag too, because so, they're like five dollars. Yeah, so never well. know. Another apartment nine. I couldn't go because I was at church camp. But I've gone to this church garage before, and. I haven't had the best of luck. I mean, occasional Lululemon or something like that, but it's, eh. These are Wrangler men's, like, khaki, cargo khaki pants. They played I should take those. That's a good find for a back sale. I probably paid $3 for those. And there's a second pair. So, those are good. These are men's, like, golfy shorts by Grand Slam, which is not a brand to pick up, but play those. will probably want those. I like the color of these green. Are, oh, these are too short. These are Hurley. They will take those. Um, Goodfellow is a Target brand. Uh, I think they might take these. Um, Maybe if it's since it's men's. Yeah, but kind of looks like they have a spot. I'm not going to try to wash it out because it's not really worth it um, to me. And these are G Bass and Co., which are good. It's like, like these are good athletic or like golfy type, just everyday shorts. So. Uh, oh, yeah, and then... Um, oh, yeah, this was also in the bag. These are actually I would have paid probably $5 for. These are just the Vibram Five Fingers, um, and they are uh, new in box. 
the tags. I could probably list, list these at $65. So that, yeah. Um, the reason I, I she didn't get them the first day is because they were priced at how much? $40? Yeah, it was like $40 or $50. So we're like, if they're there okay. tomorrow for the bag sale, then great. If not, yeah. oh well. Nobody's gonna buy it. Nobody's paying that. Yeah. I'm surprised that I have But the hunt. Hunter Boots and Murals we got the first yeah. day because we're like, that's worth definitely worth a dollar each. I don't know why they didn't have the Hunter Boots and stuff. Like that. <laughs> so, okay, that was all for $5. Here's a few things I got at Goodwill um, before I left. Like, these are literally from two weeks ago. I only found two things. Um, yeah. So, the first thing, this is actually my first time finding this brand at Goodwill. It's Hatch, which is like probably the best maternity brand out there, I'd say. These are size two, which is like an eight to 10. And these are just like a pair of like polyester black joggers. Um, I listed these for, I think, $65 or $75, and they've gotten a few likes. But I sold a swimsuit. I got a consignment store for that brand for like over $100. And then next is just a pair of the classic Joan of the Arctic Sorrel boots. They have some, like, distress details to them. And they have, like, black marks on them. But I pick, I was picking some of them off. There's one right there. And then those two. But otherwise, they're in good condition. They're also my mom's size. I think she might try them on. They were $6.80. And this particular store has been mar marking up Sorrel. So I was happy that these kind of, like, slipped through. Because this is my, probably one of my favorite styles to sell from Sorrel. But they have, like, lots of styles called the Joan of the Arctic. But not all of, like it's so weird like they're like general the arctic boot but like these are general the arctic and they also have, like a tall general the arctic it's like really weird but these tall general the arctic wedge boots are probably my favorite to sell from sorrel they they have always done well for me in like any size so yeah and then one of my friends best friend's moms uh gave me some clothes to sell for her um i'm going to nashville in a few a couple weeks so i'm gonna try to return this for her first and then she said if it doesn't work um i can go ahead and sell it um, it's Draper James, size 16, which is great size, new tags, and it's re $145 retail. She said she got it on sale for $40, so I'm just gonna, she said final sale, like, um, she said that it was final sale, no returns, but, um, I said I'd try to return it without a receipt and get, like, $40 of in-store credit for her so she can buy something else, but she said she just didn't like the fit on her, but I think it's pretty cute, but it's Draper James, um, I'm a little bit mad at Reese Witherspoon because she absolutely killed the value by putting it into Kohl's. It's like the Draper James RSVP sold at Kohl's. And I per personally, I believe that plummeted the resale value. Like, it, it's really not that good. Okay. And then next, look at the bag and guess. See if you can tell what it is. So, obviously, from the Vineyard Vines bag, she gave me that Draper James and these <laughs> Lily Pulitzer items. You can tell that um, she, what she likes. These are size 12, great size. And they're like a Bermuda printed short with little alligators on them. So, I will list those. These won't sell for that much compared to other Lily items, but um, I could probably get 25. They're a good size good for the season. These are also Bermuda shorts. I'm, these are the Callahan um, sh Chipper. No, these are just called the Chipper Short, not the Callahan. They're size 14, though, and a really nice print. Classic Lily. Probably 30 to 35 on those. And then this um, is a little, like, dress. It has, I, I, actually, this is one of my favorite Lily prints I've ever seen. It has, like, giraffes and, um, like, elephants. And, yeah, I think just giraffes and elephants. I'm not sure if there's any other animals, but, like, how like this is just like so like fun and it has like scalloping detail edges very classic lily um i'm not sure what the style is called but this is a size 14 as well so wait and this new tags yeah so um it's called the Mila shift dress and seesaw blue on pair per on parade 100 170 dollar retail i'm expecting probably 80 to 100 dollars for this um I did actually did not know it was in the tags, um, but I, yeah, I cannot believe that was in the tags. So that was a stuff they gave me. Um, in my next video, my update video, I'll just go through some stuff that other people give me. Um, so yeah, I think Ellery's going to show me the stuff that she got at a garage now. Yes. Okay, so, so this is just some stuff I got for myself. Um, Kian doesn't know about this stuff yet. But, oh, I also, yeah, okay. So I went to one garage sale and... Oh, this was, I forgot to mention, this was actually, I threw this in the bag sale. It's just a Chicago Bears t-shirt. I love the Bears, so that was worth it to me. Um, and then there's probably like one thing, you know, it's like resale value type, but a lot of it's just for me personally. I also got this like little like cute romper. Uh, I don't really know what like kind of style romper it's called, but it's like literally from Sheen. 
but it was 50 cents at a garage show my size i thought it was like really cute so i was like why not because it's um, teen that's why yeah that's why not exactly and then <laughs> i got these uh new tag abercrombie um bralettes it said a dollar on it but she was like half price clothes so i got all of them for 50 cents just thought that was pretty good worst case if it didn't fit plato's really plato's really likes abercrombie right now at mm -hmm. least mine so they would definitely take those yeah um Especially being the, and then i got this free people um sweater um thing oh actually i heard about this so i haven't seen it yet but i heard about it because tatum was like complaining to mom she's like how come whenever i go garage selling i never find anything but then tatum gets and then ellery gets free people sweaters oh really yeah she's like that's, oh, that's not funny. fair i was like how much was this two dollars uh actually we like had got mom had gotten like something else random for the house and so she made us a deal so technically it was like a dollar well actually here I, no, no i remember what it was okay so i got this and then from the same garage sale i got um i'll show you they were these uh cute little cowgirl boots they're like so cute my size and so like these were two dollars and the free people sweater was two dollars these also have the box with them i won't show it just because it's too big um and there's some wear on them but the brand is dulce dulce vita dolce dolce vita dolce vita which is like decent um, i might guess it's these that these read okay it actually says the retail on here 150 dollars yeah oh they actually saw that oh, these were actually from anthropology Look. Oh. That's funny. See, it says Anthropology there. So I feel like these would actually kind of sell well. But they're called the Nash and Vanilla Nubuck. Yeah. Well, they're so actually those. They they just are. Um, for I would probably pass on them. Yeah, I really like the style of them. Dolce Vita is a very hit or miss brand. And you know, they sold sell some sales at Target and then some sales at Anthropology. Yeah, um, I mean they have like some wear right here. I've but sold, I was like, for two dollars they were super cute, and I'm gonna like be wearing them to tailgates like, at school and stuff. Some anyways. like discoloration, but for her that's not gonna matter. So I wouldn't have picked them up to resell, but they are very cute. And oh yeah, it also has the um anthropology sticker there, so very, yeah. pretty cute. But obviously condition is not horrible, but not not. I mean great. for like personal wear for what I'm using right. them for, anyways. Like I was like whatever. But so at the garage, I got that free people sweater at that. And so it was supposed to be $4 because $2 each. But then she gave us a deal for $3. So it was like perfect. Um, then I got, oh yeah, this is also from the bag sale. Sorry, I kind of separated some of the stuff because I knew it was mine not. But just like an all in motion Target workout top. I like to work out. Um, and then I got this at a garage sale. This was 50 cents. Um, free people, just like a little sweater. I actually have the same exact sweater, but in blue. And I love it. So I was like score for a neutral color too um this from the same garage show 50 cents just nike shorts perfect for working out playing club sports that kind of thing um bag sale again just a black gap t-shirt good for i um for work or whatever i got a little bath of body works lotion for 50 cents this is my favorite scent from bath of body works i was like score perfect it? for traveling and in the night and through the night I also got this white barn candle from, a, I know this is only clothes, but from a garage sale. It smells pretty good. Um, no. Well, it was 50 cents at a garage sale, and I know these are, it's like obviously brand new, and so I know these are expensive. They're like ridiculously expensive, so I was like, perfect. Um, also from the bag sale, I just got this like random like black long sleeve I can wear to like work or something like that. It's really soft. Um, then i another from another garage sale i got this little j crew fold wallet thing um originally like king kind of needed a wallet but he ended up getting one for graduation well actually i have it right now one second okay it's on the back of my phone i got this from um aaron uh one of my good reseller friends for graduation um uh it's an all saints card holder and i wanted a card holder not necessarily a wallet like this is actually good but um, they have one at Close Mentor right now. That's a Bottega Veneta wallet card holder. It's a card holder, not a wallet. And I want something like, it was like this. But the Bottega Veneta one was like this, but it was red. And it had a classic like Bottega Veneta like woven design. Um, but it, it's $150 and I wouldn't. That one's so cute. Yeah, I wouldn't like do the color red. And then for their, it's been there for literally like two years. They have not dropped the price on it like at all. And like, 
for the Black Friday sale, only things $100 and under are 40% off. So it'll be 40% off. The most I'll pay for is $50 because I can either resell it. But my goal, I wanted to buy the Bottega Veneta one and then dye it, have, go to like a shoe repair store and then have them dye it black for me. Um, but now I don't have to because well, one, All Saints is my favorite brand. This is exactly what I was looking for. I didn't even know All Saints made this. It's a very nice leather like, um, and it also I can wear it like I was wearing it like this, just like out, just like in my pocket and then i put my phone and card holder in the same wallet and it like mat it was like a magnet and then i looked at the style on it and apparently you can um it's supposed to be convertible but some other card holders like they it's like a peel and stick but I, I appreciate how this one like can stick onto my phone and then also like this is like absolutely like perfect like yeah that's really exactly cool. was it what i was looking for and i didn't even know like it existed so that was amazing thank you Aaron. <laughs> yes thanks Aaron. um but yeah anyways so i got this because it was 50 cents it's um j crew it like i swear it hasn't been used and yeah. so i was like i just got it for my boyfriend because he needed a new wallet and i was like 50 cents i know it's a nice one yes. and i also got some other graduation gifts from other reseller friends so i'll talk about that in my next video again i have kind of a lot to work through so i would say some things like in this video but it's just way easier to just like get it done in another video that's like dedicated to that so yeah. okay the next I, just to, I just want to show the snap since we were talking yeah. about it the next thing i got from my garage show i got this lululemon sports bra but it's new with tag wow yeah okay. um so this i actually paid up a little bit more for because like this is my favorite well black's my favorite color and i love lululemon sports bras and it was like the ribs which is like a newer style it's the um energy bra long line rib um so it was like 15 dollars, but it was on sat it was 15 dollars, but it was on like saturday like kind of more in the afternoon so you know things were slowing down and so i was like asking her like what her like lowest price on it was because i was like oh like i actually like really want that and like whatever i still think 15 dollars really, is a really good deal yeah i don't want to like necessarily pay 15 just because it was like also a garage show but so that's wrote her lowest price and um she was like kind of like thinking she's like ah and i was like oh how about eight and she was like yep that's perfect so i got it for eight dollars um unfortunately it's a size really four deal. and it's too small for me because i tried to try it on because i'm more of like a size six or eight I right, told so, for um fifty eight dollars, um and then here is the um logo. This reminds me of the, the like the power pivot tank top. Yeah. Um, is like made out of the exact material. What um, it's Lux Stream fabric. Though. Yeah. So unfortunately, uh, I know that we're gonna be going to Nashville here this weekend. I might be going, might not. So maybe I can exchange it for a different size. If not, then I could probably just give it to my younger sister Tatum. Okay. Then the last thing I got at a garage show was this Arteryx t-shirt. Oh. Yeah. Yay. I saw that there. Um, I got this at Steelers. I saw it there. Um, this was also on a Saturday, and I was like, Arteryx. I was like, perfect. It's like a little bit warm, but I mean, it, it was priced at $2, and I was just like, I had like a buck in my hand. I was like, oh, would you take this for a dollar? And he was like, yeah. So I got it for a dollar. Yeah, the size is... So the XL, I think. Rubbed off a bit. Yeah, it's, like, not in great condition. You could definitely tell it's been, like, worn and washed. But I was, yeah. like, an Arcteric t-shirt for a dollar. Like, what the heck it, not? Yeah, I would have picked it up for probably two as well. I but mean, even if it a, doesn't sell. It's a bit off. worn and washed. But um, no holes, no stains. I could probably still get $25 for it. So, like, obviously that's worth a dollar. Um, and it's Arcteric, which I haven't found yet this year, I think. It's called the Arch... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's XL. It says XL. Okay. Yeah. Say that. I don't even know how yeah, to say that. Short sleeve t-shirt. Ha the good thing about Arcteryx is they have the style names on the... Look at that. What's that word? Arch... Oh... Pug... Art. Something. Art. Short sleeve t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, worth a dollar. I'd probably get 25 for that. That's really exciting. I, I like Art. I Arcteryx is one of my favorite personal brands. And I will say for a t-shirt, I mean, you can tell somebody really like this t-shirt. I mean, it still has plenty of life left. So, this this definitely, I would say, it wore um well um but like i uh, i have a few t-shirts from columbia that i've like bought at like goodwill and something and honestly i don't think the columbia t-shirts like wear well at all like they get cracking in the logos very easily like, this has like no you can tell like somebody and this has like absolutely zero cracking in the logo yeah and like good. yeah and like my columbia ones like the neckline gets really stretched out and they're cracking the logo so i would not recommend the columbia t-shirts personally even though I like some of the designs on the Columbia t-shirts, like, they just, like, aren't that great of quality, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay, next thing, um, oh, this is just, I got this Viva, or what's it called? A Aviva? Yeah. Uh -huh. This 
um, at a garage sale dollar. I know it's like the kid. I don't know much about it, but I know it's like what the kids, the kids Lululemon brand. So they discontinued it though to focus on their men's, like I guess for their men's, which like is actually a pretty good business decision because like obviously they were definitely making sales with Iviva. Um, however, you're gonna make more money with kids, so I don't know how much that will go for. Um, I don't usually pick it up just because it doesn't go for that much money. Um, but I know some people really like it, and um, it's like the same quality as Lululemon. It's just like obviously girls, so it's like doesn't retail for as much. Um, but I know some people like it because sometimes if you're like a two or four, and like the actual Lululemon, you can fit into like the larger sizes of Aviva. But um, yeah. So okay. Okay, so the um next thing. So the next um thing I got, Keegan hasn't seen yet. It's like kind of decent, whatever. But um, so I went to a garage sale and I went to this like table and I found these um Rothies. Are you kidding me? No, this is not. This is not fair. This is not, no. That no. That is not fair. No. No, because you got. Okay, let me just. No, 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 okay, no, no. But and I'm pretty no, sure they're no. real too. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, well, I'll tell the story after. Okay, so stitching. Okay, and how to authenticate Rothy's pretty quickly. Stitching should not. If you flip over the insole, stitching should not be connected. These are fine. Um, and then they should say made in China. Which, okay, these are authentic Rothy's. Yeah. Are you, are five dollars? Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, I was about to say, guess the price. They were five dollars. So basically, I saw oh, them on, so like, dumb. we walked over to the garage show, and I saw them onto the table, and um, I, think, I was mm -hmm. with my mom, and I, like, walk in, and I saw the Rothy's. I was like, I was like, mom, come here, come here, come here. This is not, I've not found, I've not found Rothy's. This is not, how do you find Rothy's? This is not fair. Like, this is, makes me, I'm so frustrated. I don't know, like, anything about Rothy's, just the fact that Keegan, like, geeks out if he were to find him. And so no, I was like, mom, are not. these, I was like, mom, mom, like, Rothy's, are these real? And then my mom, I guess, knew how to look if they were fake or not. I don't. Uh, so she, like, looked at it, and she was like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she's like, okay, grab them, grab them. So I, like, grabbed them. And also, this pair, too, that was on the are table. You, no. Are you, this is not, mm. <laughs> and so like of course like we're like okay perfect so i grabbed like that pair i mean obviously rothy's don't go for as much as they do now i feel like this might be a retired print that's what it looks like it's like a gray with like black speckled the point toe these are round toe the black these like are probably like one of the worst rothy's styles to resell just because they have been around like since rothy started and um they keep re reproducing the style their the style goes on sale on their website these are also Again, authentic. I don't know anything about Rothy. I just knew they were. Um, yeah, I mean, I've sold them before because I got them at, like, online when they used to be, like, really good. But now, I mean, they still sell. These are also $5. They're obviously worth Okay, the thing that $5. was crazy, though, is, like, me and Mom went to this garage show. It was Friday morning, but it was still at, like, 9.30 a.m. on Friday morning. Yeah, that's wild. And they have, like, both of them have a blue hair. Yeah, and I found those. So, like, Mom was like, oh, grab them, grab them. So I grabbed those two pairs and then this pair also... <laughs> Stop. This is not funny. This is not. This is. How much were those? This is not. So I like have my hands full of these. I was like, oh my gosh. And so my mom's like, my mom's thinking, she's like, okay, if this like lady has like raw okay, these are at 10 and a half. These are the sneaker. There were some men's clothes. So she was like around like looking for the men's clothes. These are size 10 and a half. Mm -hmm. 10 and a half. 10 and a half. Yeah. So, and that, that must mean she's probably like a size. Um. Okay, these are the, um, just like the sneaker. I sold a su style similar to these new in box. I got for $15 on Virage sale for 100 really fast. So I know that these still do pretty well. Um, these are, yeah. that makes me so far. <laughs> that we found three pairs of these. But yeah, so like I went around to the other side and like whatever. And then I like went around to the other side and I found this pair of Rothy's. Yeah. <laughs> they were like all on the ground and I scooped them up. These are like new, like I don't even know. Yeah, these are like barely worn. Like I'll probably throw these ones in the wash and clean up the side. I'll throw these ones in the wash too and these ones, but like they'll I mean I know how to wash Rothy's I have before. Um Yeah, these camo ones like can be like listed like now. Like they mm -hmm. don't need any what such are these ones. Oh yeah, these are size supposed 10. to is these ones. <laughs> this are you what? 
This is not. All these were five dollars. Like literally five dollars. <laughs> like one, two, three, four. Okay, no, it's never my. It's never my turn. It is never like I. Mm, you guys have we no. We four, five pairs of frosty. St stop. That is enough. Enough. Like this is taunting me at this point. Okay. These uh, are the loafer style. Those are the loafer style. This is. These are size ten and a half. Yeah. Authentic as, authentic as well. And these ones, I'm assuming, are. I mean. Oh yeah. Here's the. I'm just kidding. This is the other oh, shoe. Okay. <laughs> like, are thinking. you? I was like, are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. As well as um these ones too. Oh, that's and these ones. You could tell these ones were kind of worn, but they also had like this, like wash there. Instructions. That's how I also kind of figured they were there because I was like, why would she put that there? Or like they were real. Sorry, the, this was like, why would no, she? These put are all real. That's crazy. How many are this at? One, two. This is the first one I think I should. Oh do. yeah, three, four, five, six pairs of Rothies is outrageous for Seven. five dollars each. Wait, one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, look, look at this. A Rothies, and I haven't found. I haven't. Oh, one, two. That's so six right there. But then we also got a okay, seventh. No, pair. no, 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 no. <laughs> put them down. The, put it. Five dollars. Thank you very much. Jesus Keegan's sake. found one pair of kids Rothies, and I found what seven, seven pairs now. of Rothies, all five dollars each. Like that's crazy. This is make. This is so frustrating. This is dumb. This is actually. This is not how. Like, how does she found? How does she? Of course, she's the one that literally just goes to a garage sale when I'm not here and just manages to find seven pairs of Rothies. The reason I also kind of they were real because at first I was like maybe they're fake, but we like my mom said that they were real just because she thought she like she like authenticated it or whatever real quick. Ten and a half. And I was like talking to a lady and she was like, oh, she like obviously saw like I was like carrying them and like my mom was helping me carry them because I was like There's literally a sticker like. On the Sometimes they have the sticker not necessarily on, like, the here. It's, like, on the... I think it's on the newer styles, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't really buy... And anyways, the lady was like, oh, you know Rothy's? Yeah, and and me, the well. lady was like, oh, you guys know Rothy's? And me and my mom were like, mm-hmm, yeah. Like, duh. And um, she was she was really nice. And she was like, yeah, she was a runner, I guess. And she, like, had her whole collection of Rothy's, but she hurt her foot. And so she was, like, unable to run anymore she was unable to run she had, like foot problems so she like decided to sell her whole collection i guess for five dollars to the garage show like here's like proof of like me and my mom i was like oh my gosh we have to take a picture like me and my mom like literally like holding like all these like rothies um like it was like insane and keon was at camp and i was like no oh, tom this is yeah so at that garage show too like we, were, we continued looking or whatever we also found these um like my mom had seen these like boots and she was like, oh, those are kind of cute, whatever. And so we were, like, looking at them, and then, like... I'm not looking. I saw. I just saw the box. I'm not looking. <laughs> my mom's no. like, oh, my gosh. She, my mom, like, opened are it. She's like, those new? oh, my gosh. Okay. These are Rothy's boots. No. So these were... Those Rothy's were $5, $5, and the boots with the box were $7. So we obviously scooped that up. These are, like, feel like merino wool. Yeah. This is actually... This makes me so mad. Yeah. But... Okay, I don't know. Are... I didn't even know Rothy's like my boots. My mom found the boot. I found like all the Rothy shoes, but my mom found okay, the these boots. These are a wool blend. Yeah. So she found um How much were these? Seven dollars for the boots. Oh. Yeah. But then we also got another pair okay. of boots. Alright. <laughs> these ones are like brown. Alright. So Okay. I promise you that's all. We got nine pairs in total. Yeah. Like how we got nine pairs in total. Great. So we ended up paying forty nine dollars for all of those Rothy's because it was five dollars each for the shoes and we got seven pairs of the shoes shoes and then two seven five dollars each for those and then seven dollars each for the boots so that was 14 so 49 yeah so hee hee what so i would say it was pretty these ones brown? these ones are brown so i would say it was a pretty successful um garage show weekend i have come in box okay yeah. um my um initial reaction right now how i'm feeling um i'm happy because i just like I i'm very happy inside but um because i know these are, are going to make lots of money i mean obviously they if you found these like two three years ago these would have been like like 100 bucks each um but these black flats might only go for i should, I should just say only i would I probably mean, for five at, bucks we were picking I probably, up. yeah probably this about 65 i wouldn't pay more than 15 for those for these these i feel like the I don't know, the patterns might do better. Maybe these can go, like, list at 100. The boots are probably the best, for sure, so definitely, like, yeah. Um, and I'd say maybe these, 
I'd probably list that at like a hundred and then if I got offered for like seventy five I'd probably take it. And then I don't know, these like navy styles and stuff like that probably I can get like sixty five dollars for. And then Okay, I just like I'm just like kind of salty. I'm not salty because like Unpopular opinion Rothies do not look that comfortable. Like there's no way. I really don't get the hype, but I just know that they're Kian's never found a pair, and he's no, always wanted to find a pair. No, and just like, I just want to find. I just want to find. One. All I wanted is just to find one pair, and I don't care if I never find them again. I just want one. Just like. Well, we found nine, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. so exciting. So that was a really exciting haul. But, anyways. No. Any last remarks before the I go to the gym? Yeah. Um. I just want to say, like, the amount of times I've been into Goodwill, the amount of times I see Rothy's, people wearing Rothy's in my area every single day, the amount of garage sales I go to, I have never found a pair except for kids. Um, I mean, I see them at the buy, sell, trade stores, so, like, but, like, that doesn't count. Um, I don't pick them up because they have them, I don't know. I feel like they started a price theirs lower, too. I think they price them around $40 now, which, um, I don't know what, I don't, obviously, I know a little bit about Rothy's, but I don't know, like, I know the patterns typically do better. Some are retired, can go for more. I know that, like, there's, like, a lime green color called, like, the Jelly Bean. And those, like, sell, can sell really, really well. But, um, yeah, but, yeah, did she have any other shoes or anything like that? Um, she did have a pair of Ufas, but, I don't know. I, Mama told me I should have grabbed them. Somebody, like, grabbed them right after us, but I, like, considered picking them up. <laughs> but they were, like, kind of, like, worn. And like, in my opinion, not ugly style, but I probably should have picked them all there, like also $5. Yeah, probably. But yeah, that was pretty much it. And then she had some Eddie Bauer ones, again, like $5. I think some like Dr. Scholl's, but like that was about it. So, yeah. Okay, well, I'm like really, I'm, I'll be excited. I'll be excited to list these and obviously I'll be excited when once they sell. But... Okay, who said you were listing them? <laughs> I found them. So I found a little lemon that I give you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see if I'm nice or not. You at least have to pay me for them. Um, yeah, but we can give some of these a bath. I, w I wonder, I mean, the good thing, the good thing is, what are the, is that another pair? Oh, wait, never mind, okay. These are the pair, these pair I got on Barrage for $2. I, oh, yeah, I just brought them over. I, I think, oh, mom put them on the, uh, she must have put them, like, in the bag or something, or brought them over, because I still haven't washed these yet, and I got them, like, two months ago, but, so I literally have 10 pairs of Rothy's in my light box right now. Um, these are the sandals. Actually, okay, these probably won't. Yeah, those are kind of cute. Yeah, like, cutest Rothy's I've seen. Because, yeah. Some of them look very, like, orthopedic. I'm surprised. I mean, I don't know. To me, these look, these look like the most comfortable. Like, the loafers like, the most comfortable to me. But, mm -hmm. like, there's just no way that's comfortable. Like, like, your toe would be, like, so squished. Yeah. I think that's why you have to size up in that, or down in that, or size up in them. So, yeah. she probably was, like, a size, like, nine and a half to ten as my guess because these are size 10 so i'd say she's probably size nine and a half maybe and these are size 10 and her other points are size 10 and a half so maybe that's why she she probably just those ordered. ones are like not worn i swear yeah i she probably just did not like these ones because they're too small but that makes me so mad wow okay yeah Anyways. my foot is asleep i cannot feel my foot yeah <gasps> Okay, well, I guess we'll call it there. Thanks so much for watching, and let me know your favorite find. Again, the next video will be a little bit of an update. Um, so yeah, so that was actually pretty good. A pretty good garage. Yeah, so who's the best thrifter in our house? Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys. I mean, this is probably you know when I that like two years ago when I found all those Tory Birch shoes. Like this probably is like. And the fact that they weren't really even marked up either is just kind of wild. Because I did pay, like, $15 for the Tory Burch shoes, but, like, this is wild. So, yeah. all right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.